long time ago. It starts as a fairy tale, but let me assure you, it's not. It's based on real solid facts. So, long time ago, when I began studying the works of W. D. Gunn, I have found out a math formula which allowed me to become a really successful trader. The deeper I analyzed the market, the more surprised I was. Hi trader, this is Mario from Forex Otherway, the channel for traders run by a trader. In today's video, I'll share with you an incredible property of the market based on all time low of Euro USD pair. I will show you how accurate prediction of the trend change you can make even after 20 years when from the time when all time low occurred. But please stay with me because during this video, I will give you some harmonic points when the market is very likely to reverse in the very near future. So let's start the rock and roll. So when I discovered that based on the square of nine principles, or more precisely based on mathematical formulas ruling the square of nine, and based on this, I could calculate a future reversal points. My first question was as such, does it work for a time span long enough to make it work without any limitation? Or are these calculations valid for a longer period of time or they work only several months ahead? I've got in front of me a Euro USD daily chart over here. This pair made um, all time low on October 26, 2009. Let me show you. I've got it somewhere here. Here is the date, October 26, 2009. So uh, the time when I was uh, trying to analyze that, that was 2009, just after Lehman Brothers collapsed in the United States in September 2008, when two months earlier, Urias, they made all-time high on July 15, 2008. And my first idea was to check whether all-time low has given an indication on this all-time high as of July 2008. So I took an Excel sheet with a closing price over here of October 26, 2000 and uh, introduced my formulas in it. They are just uh, over there of, on the columns from A to D. And I projected this low price, the lowest low of all time into the future. So the results I've got over here calculate they are up to, well, they are long enough, up to 2028. By the way, I teach this calculation formulas on my private mentoring sessions over the Skype or Zoom. If you are interested to learn them, please send me an email. The address you'll find under this video in the description. So having all these dates calculated, I didn't make any effort to check them right from 2003 because it's plenty of them. And I went straight to 2008, July, April. I started from April over here. And every time it showed me a date, I put a line on the chart, a vertical line as a time. Let me show you the results. So. These are, I started over here. So it showed me first one. It has shown me 17 of April 2008 as a reversal point, potential reversal point. And that time the market nearly made an all time high. This long uptrend, which started somewhere in 2000 and, uh, 2005, uh, just ended up over here. So that's the, the end of this three years long uh, uptrend on 17th of April. So I don't want to, to get you bored with that. Important thing is it didn't show me all time high, which is here. Okay. But it's shown this top. It's shown this bottom, this top, this bottom. This is daily chart, EURUSD daily. So it's shown the date, the date when the market started collapsing 37th of July 2008. 
and in way it went all the way down 1711 2008 and the time when i was i started checking it was uh, somewhere in this area in 2009 the beginning of 2009 but i made this projection and i forgot about it i just left it like that and then it reminded me that it really works it shocks it gives a really good decent results look based on uh, on on the low all time low we got all these reversal points over here marked obviously some of them don't work but most of them they are really significant and i did it all over all over up to the year 2020 at the moment so as you can see some of them work most of them work some of them not they are showing exactly the bottoms the tops or the dates when the market starts uh, the rising or starts falling or just the tops like here sometimes it's a miss like here this is a local correction it's also harmonic point this is also harmonic point we are on daily here's 50 pips on it so it was the end of the local correction the bottom the top and so on i don't want to keep you bored with that let me show you this is very interesting what happened in 2020 that's what i wanted to show you because we are over here look we are here is 31st of december 2019 on usd obviously on 28 11 2019 it has shown local bottom this is 27 28 28 november 2019 let's go there and i will show you 2019 is somewhere here here we go we got 28 of november 2019 that's the date over here 28 november 2019 the bottom the next date we've got is 9th of january 2020 so 9th of january 2020 is over here all right let's go the next one 20th february 2020 look over here that's the date and fortunately the next date is a miss because it has shown 2nd of april 2020 and it was the miss market missed the bottom but the next one 14 of may is exactly the date when the market started this uptrend in may to 2020 is just the very bottom of the market and then the market started the next one 25th of june so here we've got the may here we've got june 25th of june 2020 and again the market end up this correction and continued uh, its rally so it was another bottom and next one 7 of august 2020 here we go 7 of august 2020 it's shown a local but top of the market just the date when the market started falling another one 18th of september it is 18th 18th of september 2020 let's have a butchers on another one 31st of october 2020 which is over here 31st of october first of was the day of the market it's 30th because 31st of october was saturday and first was sunday so 2nd of november is the place when the market the date when the market decided to go higher and now look over here we got 13th of december let's check it let's check it 13th of december after this local correction of four or five days the market continued its uptrend it didn't show 6th of january it didn't show 6th of january but maybe one day i will make a projection of the all-time high from july 2008 and probably it will show this date as well now the tip for you my friend the next date it shows is 25th of january 2021 as of today we are on the 21st so 25th of january is on monday 
So Monday 25th of January, the market is very likely to make a local reversal at least. Interesting date, interesting date. I would recommend you to use the harmonics of the square of 9. Try to calculate it yourself if you know how to do it. Those of you guys who already participated on my mentoring session, you know how to do that. If you don't know and you cannot find it, just let me know. We can meet over the Skype and Zoom, as I told you, and you can learn it as well. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.